Hey everyone, it's Luke here, and today I'm back with my friend Jinho. <laughs> and we're here to react to Espa's comeback with Girls. Uh, this came out a few days ago, but we held off so we could react to it at the same time. And yeah, we don't really know what to expect too much. I've forbidden myself from <laughs> any sort of spoiler. Yeah, so it, it'll be uh, it'll be surprising, I think. And um, if you're wondering why Jin has sunglasses, just very bright lights in here. So and I mean, of... it's an updated version with yeah. less tint this yeah. time, even. So yeah. that's why, like, it's been for, more normal. <laughs> for uh, next level, I guess. <laughs> All right. So anyway, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, direction correct. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. Wait, what? It feels very dark already. When did Karina get? Yeah, she has the bangs. Right. <laughs> oh. oh. It's very, uh, very savage feeling. <laughs> Winter back with her swords. <laughs> I like the hoot <laughs> reference. The set is really cool. Right. <laughs> it's like heavy metal almost. Okay. Switching it up again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of edginess, but like a lot of soft like vocals mixed together, which is really cool. Maybe this is a wrong imp interpretation, but then this is like a. It reminds me of the next level. Okay. In terms yeah. of like how the song kind of. Well, yeah, the yeah the different parts like kind of switching mm -hmm. parts a lot. Yeah, I like that they're incorporating the eyes more. <laughs> it also it reminds me a little bit of the um what was that step back by girls on top like that that unit right so i feel like this is a more vibe i feel like this is a better interpretation to be honest yeah kind of more empowering <laughs> Like this, like build up in the bridge. But this is like that. <laughs> what was it? Dance break? Or no, like... the other one on, from the whole SM thingy. Oh, the girls on top. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the parts also remind me of like older K-pop. I don't know, like some boa vibes. Some in some parts, like. Maybe I'm not expert. In that. <laughs> I'm not expert in that field, so. <laughs> but just that like older SM sound that was very like chant, like chanting a lot. Like mm -hmm. I feel like that chorus reminds me of that. Right, like this sounds like an SM song. To yeah. Me. Like seeing Winter use the the sword. <laughs> it's very like epic. Oh, it's oh wait, no, we're not done yet. Oh, 
Is that the Black Mamba? I think so. Probably. Let's not talk about. That. Wait, so Black Mamba was a. What? Like a binary code <laughs> entity? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of. That was sort of similar to um, at the end of Black Mamba, like the first oh, really? video. Like at the end, there was like they show them the Black Mamba like rising, and it kind of had that similar code uh -huh. look. So I'm like, this one was disintegrating. So that's an interesting. So Black Mamba was not oh, it's just a snake. It's just it's a human. <laughs> I honestly, I'm not even sure if we know really what it is, but it's either an entity or like a collective thing. I, I don't know, but anyways, yeah, so we just reacted to Espa Girls and we were kind of just starting to talk about um, how we felt about it. Mm -hmm. Definitely, um, I mean, I, I don't want to steal what you were saying, but we sort of just talking about where it fits into like their story or like the timeline. And you were like talking about how like, not sure where it fits in exactly. It sounded like a bit of a discreet story, like not the most connected story from a uh, savage. Though I don't know if it's meant to be, like, a, I don't know if it was meant to be connected or not. Right. However, I mean, it was a good discovery in a sense that I didn't realize Black Mamba was a binary code <laughs> object. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It seems like they're kind of like a basically Black Mamba is like a virus, I think, or some kind of. Like hacking the uh -huh. Anya, yeah. right? <laughs> Basically, um, yeah. I I'm not 100 percent sure about the story. I was just saying. I feel like I was focusing so much on the song and the just surface like visual that I didn't really follow the story as well. So I'll mm -hmm. have to like rewatch it again. But I think in terms of maybe continuing from Savage, it sort of just seemed like turning a corner from like now we're taking control back or like now we're like we're going for it kind of thing. I, I don't know. Obviously, I didn't really look at the lyrics that I much. I mean, in, in a, in a diff, like from like, I guess, the other perspective, it wasn't exactly not a, con it wasn't exactly not a con like, <laughs> So it was, it still was a bit of a connection in a sense that Navis was sort of watching what was going on everything, you know, behind the scenes. And yes, like uh, ESPA members themselves were like, quote unquote, finally taking some actions. Yeah. I guess, you know, went through with the sword, just back again. But yeah. yeah, like, so that was the good, I guess that's the more familiar part, but then in terms of where the general story is going, it's sort of like, okay, like, you know, from like a mom, no, not just mamba, like that, that's a razor stuff. Um, <laughs> like a black mamba to next level to savage. It was a bigger jump, but I feel like this is like more like a half a jump. Mm -hmm. And not to bring in other song, but then I don't think life is too short has anything to do with <laughs> this, right? At all. Yeah, I was actually, I was talking to someone about that, that were like, we're not sure how Life is Too Short, like, relates to their, I guess you would call it, like, universe, or their their lore, their story. And I, I was kind of like, you know, maybe it's supposed to be, like, a song that's dedicated to their eyes, or to Navi's kind of saying, like... The Western Navi. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, so, I guess, I feel like we... I don't think like we'll film a second reaction or anything, but I feel like we need to rewatch it to fully like understand right. what was happening because it was like a lot happening. But I, one of my favorite things was just seeing Winter like actually go into action and like slicing whatever that car was or that motorcycle or something. But I thought her main weapon was a gun. A gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think that is supposed to be, but there was. I think in her like intro teaser, like before they debuted, there she was using a sword as well. Right, that's where the but... whole sword thing came in and <laughs> grows. Yeah, yeah, I think she actually had to train how to use Right, that. yeah, she, she was like doing front flip and then going like... Yeah. But yeah, I'm, like I'm kind of wondering if this is either like the start of the confrontation with Black Mamba or if it's like the conclusion. I, I don't really know, but it seems like it's more like there's actually stuff... I don't think this... I mean, if this is a conclusion, it would be a bit of a... They're gonna. Like, I feel like SM will have to think of a whole new thing pretty soon, because then otherwise, like you know, they yeah. they only they like what year 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 and a bit of bit of ago. Something I noticed. So I don't I don't know if you watched the most recent. I don't think you got around to watching the most recent episode two thing or the. No, I was not in this continent. Yeah, so I didn't have time. <laughs> yeah, so I noticed something they did was they called it like Espa or something season one, like there's like a season one or like kind of implying that there could be more seasons. <laughs> just like so, the other seasons. Yeah, no, just no, like no, something no, let's not get, not, kind of working on, I guess. But 
Yeah, I think there was something like, because they're using the word like episode two, episode one, episode three. Um, and then I just, I don't know if they were using season one before, but I just noticed it this time. So I kind of feel like they're trying to build a story arc and that it's going to conclude a season one. Like maybe there will be a full album that's like the conclusion of season one. Is this not a season? Is this not a full album this time? A mini album. Okay. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, I think they've had two. No, they only have one actual album. Savage was the only thing. No, wait, no next. No, I don't think next level was. A full yeah, album. I think it was single, and then Savage was when they released the full first. Album. Mini yeah, album? full album. Oh, was it a full album? I, I don't I know. Think so. <laughs> okay, Google. Wait, where's Google? How do you do? So this is the second mini album. Yeah. Uh, next level was just next level. single, yeah, and then Savage was the first mini album. We'll it's see. sort of funny how like some artists come to their first actual album after like five years, <laughs> you know, after yeah. their debut. That I mean, it's sort of a weird. <laughs> for me, the prime example is Blackpink because they had their first full album in 2020, which was four years. Four years into their debut. debut. Yeah, which is kind of crazy, but right. And it actually wasn't that many songs, <laughs> so... I feel um, like, like, were all of Ice One's album, like, all mini albums? One real... Oh, yeah, these are all mini albums. Yeah, never mind, there were mini albums, yeah. See, some, some singers, some artists don't even get full albums. Yeah, that's true. Anyways, that was kind of, kind of a tangent we went on, but uh, something else that I liked about the song was I noticed there were... There was a lot of, like, there would be, like, a really edgy old strong part and then it would kind of switch to like a softer vocal like there was a part where I think maybe Karina and Giselle were rapping and then it went to like Ning Ning mm. and Winter doing like vocal and parts. it wasn't like just like the fixed positions it was also just like a mix of like it, it I mean yeah I mean I guess that's sort of a good point a good thing about not having like you know a fixed position you know other than I guess Karina being the leader mm -hmm. but that's everyone taking part in like vocal and rap you know yeah. at different places like that it's a nice mix yeah i feel like they've found a good like balance a good synergy i guess so yeah how uh, about energy yeah that's, that's what i was gonna say i don't like that song i'll make i'll just put that out there i don't like that song it's it's like it give, it makes me feel like i'm in like a minus 10 <laughs> degrees environment it's, it's not my favorite but there's some parts of it i i like but yeah i mean if there's one thing i know about espa's songs is that I know that I'll like with their title tracks, they're kind of a little jarring at first. They're a little like hard. Like the first time you listen, you're not necessarily like used mm. to it. But the more you listen, like more. I feel like that applies and, to me the most. Yeah. With how I gave okay, well, the no, Black Mamba still hasn't really grown on me yet. But then like next level and like said, like you remember like how confused I was at the yeah. at first when I first listened to them. But then now I'm sick. I think that's kind of like their appeal in a way because at first like i've kind of felt the same way i was like oh it's a little too All too the weird place. but then the nice thing with espa is like you know you're gonna get something that stands out from everyone else and i think that's why they're they're just like really growing and building a really like strong fandom i think because they're like you you know you aren't gonna get this elsewhere basically i mean also with that um did we see this during the reaction i don't remember but like, we said that it's a bit of a better implementation of what SM's 2021 year-end project oh, you know, yeah. would have been like. Are you, are you talking about the... Girls on Top. Yeah, Girls on Top. top yeah. I, I always forget, like, but the title is Step Back, I yeah. think, and then Girls on Top, but it's like... That sounds more like the title of the song in Step Back. The beat. Like, <laughs> it's, I can't remember, but yeah, we kind of... I mentioned that it gave me a similar... Feeling, and I actually did watch the teaser a few days ago and I already had kind of had a vibe like that from the teaser um, but that this felt more like empowering and more like there's more unity mm -hmm. in the song rather than like a I don't know what the word is for the girls on top one but I know a lot of people didn't really like the message of that song and I feel like this is kind of a similar vibe but with a more Unified message. Well, to be, I mean, to be fair, for the SM that unit project, like Espa has more, Espa has a more distinct or a clear objective, mm -hmm. or I, I guess a 
theme to put themselves into. Yeah, they're like anchored. In some Whereas thing. like, you know, girls on top is a sort of like, I mean, I mean, they're busy people. I don't know <laughs> for how long they get to, you know, practice together. And then like, you know, even the production stage of that whole project, it's like, who knows how much time they might have, they would have invested in it. So it's sort of like, I can see why that was sort of a missed opportunity for them. Mm-hmm. But for Espa, obviously if it's a missed opportunity, I feel like that would have been a big hit. Like, obviously negatively. Yeah. Because I think that's sort of the pros and cons. Like, you can easily determine your direction with where you want to go with those songs. However, if you get them wrong, then it's a big yeah. wrong. There's no small wrongs. Like. Yeah, yeah. It's always a, a risk, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty much like most of the thoughts that I had on the song and I, I think that um I think they're supposed to do an, an another episode like an episode three that kind of follows or continues the story soon so I'll have to see if that kind of explains a bit more about like what is going on with this particular <laughs> chapter mm. um but all right well that was our reaction and our thoughts on Espa's comeback I hope you enjoyed that obviously both Jino and I really uh, like Espa so thanks to him <laughs> yeah. brought me into that kind of, yeah, like I the kind dimension of, uh, brought him over to the dark side I yes. suppose so yeah, oh yeah we'll, the mom beside yeah <laughs> well we'll definitely be keeping our eye on on what they do and interested to see what they do next but as always let us know what your thoughts were on their comeback in the comments down below and um, hopefully you'll see some content coming from us later this year or sometime in the future, kind of up in the air. But yeah, there, there's stuff in the works and hope you'll stay tuned. At the very least, the December 31st of this <laughs> yeah, year. That's that's our goal. So I mean, if not, then the, the, the upcoming flashback will have to happen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Um, stay awkward and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>